Johnson, it's time to get our second star into the ring. She's the only girl in the final. But will it be a case of ladies first? Claire Buckfield. <laughs> It was just such a shock to not be in the skate-off. It was really unexpected, so it was just delightful. Getting to the final is just fantastic. I can't believe I'm here. We're just going to go for it. And the week gets off to a great start when Claire gets to experience one of her childhood dreams. It was wicked! <laughs> yeah! My two favourite things, skating and then flying. When I was a kid, I always dreamt that I'd fly. I don't know why, but it's just such a magical thing. And to be able to have a chance to do that, it's like a dream come true. But the reality of flying with a harness is a lot more painful. Have you been watching Blue Peter? Yeah, can you tell? The plastic pants are there because the harness hurts my hips because I've not got a lot of flesh there. So I made a pair of protective pants from bubble wrap and they work. <laughs> Claire's loving the flying. The week before last, the only thing that she wanted to do was get through to get to fly. It's like she should be paying us for this one. It's all a, a fun fair ride for her. I love this one! Whee! Skating and flying to We've Only Just Begun. It's Andre Lipanoff and Claire We've only just begun to live Like lace and promises A kiss for luck and we're on our way We've only begun Before the rising sun We fly Claire Buckfield orbiting the Star Wars studio like a, a sequined satellite. So many giant crystals on that costume that it weighs several pounds. It's almost a, a bulletproof vest. This is the neck spin. And when she put the bubble wrap in her knickers to stop the harness hurting her hips, she was going off like party poppers. Those are the back somersaults, swiveling at the hips. It was a very elegant program and then soaring away at the end, a, a shooting star. The air full of bubbles. Well, her best judge's score was 27 in school in show six. Here's the judge's score tonight. Nikki six, Natalia six, Jason 5.5, Karen six, Robin six. That gives her 29.5 to equal the best of the series. Yeah! to do it. Yeah, I, I always wanted to fly and we always wanted to get a six as well, so double bonus. Look at that, fantastic. And we've still got the bubbles in the air, oh. all in honour of your bubble pants, of course. Yes, of course. Was it what you wanted? 
the, the, flying. Bump, the flying absolutely it's like a joyride mm. it's just like going to Orton Towers and I should have paid really because it was so thrill thrilling and thrill seeking I love it harder her. than you thought very hard yeah, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. is tough, isn't it? It is tough because, um, I mean, it's not easy for Claire to, to be flown in the air because she has to hold her body and she does it so beautifully. That's why she got those scores. Yeah, great scores. Let's get uh, the comments from the judges. Holly? Just amazing scores, judges. Thank you so much. Robin, what was it about that performance that deserves such high scores? Well, I think, first of all, you looked sensational in the air, but for me, it wasn't about what you were doing in the air. It was the control that you had over your blades on the takeoffs and the landings. It was absolutely foot perfect. Thank you. It was, it was <laughs> glorious to watch the whole way through. Karen, what did you think? Well, actually, Robin has said the words that I was going to repeat there. You have such an awareness. You look so comfortable, but... I've enjoyed every minute of watching you up there all week. You've just been like a child in a playground. It's been brilliant. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Thank you very much, judges. Thank you. If you think it really has only just begun for Claire and you want to see her in the Bolero skate-off, then she needs your vote. The lines will be opening very shortly. Claire and Andre!